welcome back to the channel as always thank you very much for clicking play welcome back to Argentina and this save with Estudiantes de la Plata we are into the fourth season now um, we are doing our first game of the um, well it's our second game of the season our first of the uh, of the series for this fourth season we're at home against Belgrano our old enemy that beat us in the Copa de la Super League final uh, season before last a um, couple of things to get through. You can see we've got that little symbol on the transfers tab. We're going to show you that in a minute. It's not looking good. Um, one thing we should address um, is <laughs> Raul Abia at Boca. Five goals he scored in their 5 0 win against Rathing Club. Um, after two games, <laughs> he's got seven goals. So he means business. Last season's. Um, Defeat at the hands of Mario Gatti in the top scorer race has clearly angered him. He means business this season, and so do Boca. They are top with a plus nine goal difference after just two games. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, our first game of the season was away at Rosario Central. We won it 2-0, scored two early goals inside seven minutes. Matthias Moyer and Batista Cascini getting the goals. Um, I can't put it off any longer. We're playing Belgrano today. Before we do talk about transfer news, we will just have a look at our record against Belgrano. We've beaten them three times out of five. We've drawn once. Our only defeat was that Super League Cup final um, from the season before last. So hopefully we can keep that run going today and get a win because Boca mean business this season. It's only a 38-game season as well. There are 20 teams in the league. Um, right. Mario Gatti, this could be the last time we see him play. We've had an offer, and we've had a few offers, all from PSG. Um, they really, really want him. Uh, their first offer was around about 20 million, something like that, and we negotiated it up, and I think we got it. We ended up rejecting it because there was um, up here there was a, there was a little thing that gave me the option to persuade him to stay, which I was able to do. I said, "You're playing here every week. You're not going to get that uh, in Paris. Stay with us for another year." And he was happy with that. He's fine. He's happy. If you look at him, he's got absolutely no negatives around him. He's happy to stay at the club. He does, as you can. Oops, what's happened there? Let's just go back. He. He does, as you can see here, he does want to go to PSG. Now, this isn't the offer that's on the table. Negotiating it, it, for some reason, it doesn't keep hold of what you've managed to negotiate it up to. What we have negotiated up to is, up front, £32.5 million. Installments, two annual installments, um, totaling, I think it's fourteen and a quarter million. And the percentage of profit from the next sale at 50%, which means that we'd be getting 47 million there or thereabouts for him, um, plus half of the profit on his next deal. Now, if in a couple of seasons he goes to Barcelona or Real Madrid or Juve or Man City for 100 million, we'd get another 30 odd million from that, which is absolutely insane. And I kind of think we don't have a choice. Um, if you look at our finances, we it would that thirty two million and the and the two seven million the two seven million instalments on their own um, would finance the club for a season. So getting that thirty two million in to start with would be ridiculous. It would just it, we would get we get seventy five percent. We would get so what twenty four million of that in the transfer kitty, which would be ridiculous as well it would give us so much financial clout going forward now i know you're all going to be you're going to be screaming reject 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 but the point of this save was to um to build the club and doing that does involve selling players and this is a kid that came through our very, very first youth intake. I think it was episode nine of this series. I mean, if you want to go back, I may do a little special about Mario Gatti um, in, a, in the future at some point and just show you how he developed because it's absolutely outrageous how good he became. Um, I mean, these, these attributes are just insane. 
obviously, if, if we do sell him, we've got to think about a replacement. And looking at our squad, there are good players. There are potentially great players in this squad. Um, we will look at, uh, first of all, I can't find him. Where is es oh, Estevao? There he is. Estevao, I've showed you him before when we signed him. We got this kid for uh, 180 grand. So very, very little outlay. He's valued at 1.4 million at the minute. Five-star potential. Looks absolutely brilliant. He scored a hat-trick, of course, in the second leg of our Copa Superliga semi-final against Vélez. Um, a couple of them massive defensive errors, granted. But he looks a real deal as well. So he, at six foot three, he's half decent in the air. I mean, he's not as good as Mario, but who is? Um, and then also we have uh, this kid that we signed this summer for uh, 175,000, um, Golderson. Another Brazilian, again, looks absolutely fantastic. He's only five foot nine, so clearly not as good in the air. He's good at heading, just can't get off the ground. But again, he's quick and the finishing, the dribbling, brilliant. Estevão is probably ahead of him at the minute, but he does look really, really good as well. Um, in terms of in the reserves, can you get the feeling that I'm kind of trying to justify selling Mario at this point? Um, we've got Ricardo Paredes, 18-year-old, again, another one that we just brought in, got him on a free from uh, Miami. Um, jury's out, four and a half star potential ability, that's why I've gone for him. Um, he looks half decent, but we'll have to monitor him. He's only 18, but if he can get the same sort of progress as Mario Gatti, he will be class. And this kid I'm very, very excited about, Juan Uritia. Um, we brought him in from Rio Negro Aguilas, but we sent him straight back there on loan as well. 700,000 we got him for. Um, he's valued at double that at the minute, but again, just look at him. He looks absolutely ridiculously good. Not amazing aerial ability for someone who's six foot, but he just looks fantastic. Um, I mean, finishing of 16, a first touch of 16, a technique of 14, a work rate of 14, and those physicals as well. He just looks so, so good. Um, so I'm going to play this match. Mario Gatti is going to start this game. And then I think I'm going to make a decision. And at the minute, I'm going to sell him. So brace yourselves. We could be saying adios to Mario at the end of this video because it's just it's just got to be done. We've, we've just got to move on. Um, I mean, the kid's been sensational. He really, really has. But we have to, we have to let him go. I think we really do. Um, in terms of other transfers, I didn't show you them, did I? Is there anyone? Um, we've brought in Stephen Lozano. He's a left back uh, because I thought Marlon was going to go, and he didn't. So we kind of got three left backs at the minute. So we'll have to monitor that. But he looks really good. Five star potential. Really, really good looking wing back. Uh, Golderson and Uritia, of course, I've shown you, and Paredes, and I showed you the rest of them in um, in an earlier video. So we are ready to go. We do have an injury to Fabio Negeri. He's out for um, two or three weeks at the minute. Uh, Luke, um, yeah, Lucas Rodriguez as well is out for another week or so. That is it in terms of injuries. This is a team we're going with. Um, Debutante for Thomas Fernandez and uh, Augustin Heredia. But other than that, it's all good. We're going to probably bring Golderson on in this match, give him his debut. Um, I think it's his debut. I don't think he played against... Did he come off the bench? No, he didn't come off the bench against um, Rosario. So hopefully Mario Gatti can sign off with some goals today. But I do think it's time to say adios. Oh, I know I'm going to get so much hate in the comments if we do sell him, but, you know, 47 million is... It, it's... Uh, it, it's Vinicius Junior money, isn't it? And you know, it, it, it's stupid money. And in, I'm I'm amazed, it, quite honestly, I'm amazed that the board haven't stepped in and accepted it on our behalf, because it's a it, it's a phenomenally good offer that we've managed to get it up to. So, yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised that the board haven't stepped in and said we're taking that. It's too good. Um, if I'm being honest. Part of me was hoping they kind of would do that so it wouldn't make me look like the bad guy, which undoubtedly I'm going to do if I sell him, but we've got to sell him, haven't we? 47 million, um, 32 and a half up front, 14 and a half million in 
add-ons, 50% sell-on. I did try and get a loan back. That didn't happen, but it's just too good to turn down. It really is. I, have, You know, jump in the comments, let me know. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Um, I think I'm going to sell him because I want to see our bank balance bigger, to be honest. As Thomas Fernandez, he should have scored there. Pellegrini's cross. Fernandez hit it straight at the keeper, but a good good start from us. But he should have scored. Um, I'd love to see Mario Gatti sign off with three or four goals. Um, although if he did score three or four goals today, I'd probably reject the offer, to be honest. Um, but here we are on defensive with Balboa. Out to Siqueira. In it goes to Brenner. Tame header straight at Sapa. Goal kick for Sapa. Lifts it out to Facundo Mura as the right back. Uh, one of the game going on today. Urakana taking on Newells. It's nil-nil there as well at the minute. Um, Gil Romero in midfield. He is running out of time to fulfil the promise to him of giving him more first-team football. So I'm just trying to give him a little bit. As Cascini comes in and smashes in a wonderful volley. It's his second goal of the season. He scored in both games now. And we are going to go a long way today at uh, this season to see a better goal than that. What a hit this is. Just look at that. Oh, that is just stunning. It's a good start from us. It's half 50-50 uh, on possession. We haven't really seen much Belgrano attacking, even though they've apparently had more shots than us. Uh, Campy plays it forward to the goal scorer, Cascini. Pellegrini, I do love Cascini in his box-to-box midfielder role. He does score quite a lot of goals. He got well into double figures last season. Oh, and what a volley that is from Thomas Fernandez! His first ever goal for the club. I'm really excited by this kid. I'm really expecting him to make that right wing spot his own. This is an absolutely brilliant finish. Just look at that technique. Knee over the ball, fires it in. Dos zero. Gaston Campi has just picked up a yellow card, um, so hopefully he doesn't do anything silly. Here's Thomas Fernandez to Gil Romero, back to Thomas, and Leonardo Fernandez now goes out to Lozano. In it goes, the header from Gatti is just over. Um, the game against um, Rosario, Mario Gatti just has so many headed chances. Um, he was just way off target with all of them. Um, he just didn't have his finishing um, on his finishing head, his shooting head, whatever you want to say. All headed chances that he put narrowly off target. He just wasn't at the races uh, then, and he hasn't been so far today either, um, which does make it easy to accept 30 odd million. As Gil Romero hits one, but it's straight into the arms of Acosta. Um, I mean, we put away Rosario early as well with two goals in seven minutes. Uh, in the opening seven minutes in that first game of the season, so we've we've done we've done it here as well. We've hopefully put Belgrano away inside the first twenty minutes. Uh, Mura will take this throw. Fernandez, Leonardo Fernandez, Gil Romero, Leo Fernandez again to Thomas. Back to Gil Romero. Cascini is he going to line another one up? Oh, don't know what that was. That was poor. That was really really poor. Um, Sequeira now breaks the counter is on. It hits it into the box. That was awful, wasn't it? And Daniel Sapper will pick that up easily, and we will go again from the uh, from the back. This and this is what we like to do. We like to build it. We like to work the ball. We like to get ev as many players and as many passes involved as possible. And Mario Gatti is in, and Mario Gatti should have scored. I think his head was in the French capital there. He really should have hit the back of the net with that one. Here he is again now, though, and that's a lovely ball to Pellegrini, and he should have scored as well in Gil Romero, and it is still alive. We are getting in at will at the minute. Gil Romero out to Steven Lozano, who's looked pretty decent in this match so far, and it is put behind for the corner by Silva. We have suddenly really turned the screw here, and we really look like we want to put them to bed well before half time and get three or four in this first half, which would be fantastic. Um, we really have to put points on the board because Boca have raced out of the blocks. Cascini picks the ball up here. Gil Romero goes all the way back to Campi. That is fine because it makes the opponents move around. I'm happy with a back, a backwards pass if a forward one isn't on. Um, here's Cascini to hit one and Acosta makes a save. It's good flying away to his left. He's kept his team in it today, Acosta. He really has. Um, we should probably be out of sight by now. But instead, it looks like we're going to go into the break just 2-0 up, which should be enough. Urakan leading against Newells. Uh, they've scored, I'm guessing that is um, Andre Chavez. It is. I love Andre Chavez. 
Uh, when I had him in a, in FM16, I really, really loved him. But we're tuning up at half time. I'm just going to say calmly, very pleased. Keep it going. They've all re reacted positively to that, which is good. Hopefully that means they won't take their foot off the gas. Um, hopefully we can get another couple of goals and chip away at that ridiculous goal difference. Alvarez with this throw. Balboa heads it back to him. He has got an injury, Balboa, which isn't too disappointing for us because he is a bit of a thorn in our side. Here's Brenner to Letora. Rivero to Silva. Whips it in. Balboa's header straight at Daniel Sapo. That's their best move of the match so far that we've seen. Urakana 2 0 up. Garo has scored eight minutes into the second half. Here is Balboa again to Rivero. We're going to be making some changes soon, 10 minutes or so, and Golderson is going to come on for Mario Gatti. It's not been a good start to the season for Mario Gatti, and that is a sensational save from Daniel Sapper, but Balboa is on hand to put in the rebound. They have come out in this second half meaning business. It has been all Belgrano since the break. They deserve to have that goal back. This, though, what a save this is. That is a brilliant, brilliant save. But he was just unfortunate that it landed straight back at the striker. And it's 2-1. And it's game on. Time to make a substitution then. And, and as you can see, look, Mario Gatti is down to 48%. Um, he's picked up a knock. So I was about to take him off anyway. He's been poor in this match. He's been poor this season so far in the two games that he's played. So he's going to come off. I think that's going to be it for him now, unless the deal doesn't go through before our next game. So I think we've got a game in two or three days' time. So unless it doesn't go through um, before then, that's probably him done. Um, we're going to bring on Gaston Paiva for Batista Cascini. Sorry, that, that seemed like I was glossing over it, wasn't I? Thank you, Mario. You've been an absolute legend at the club. If that was your last appearance, then you know we've got to bow down to you. You are going to be an absolute world beater. Um, you've just, it's, I think it's just too good an offer to turn down. Uh, Batista Cascini coming off. Gaston Paiva is the other one coming on. Um, so let's hope that that gives us what we need to put this one to bed. Um, Pellegrini's looking really tired as well. We're a little bit light out on that left-hand side with Lucas Rodriguez being injured. Hopefully, hopefully he will be back. Um, he's only out for another seven, another seven days or so. So he should be back soon as Acosta claims that free kick unchallenged. Um, what's he going to do? Kicks it long. The only one man up front. But when he gets to it and gets through, that's all you need, isn't it? And Daniel Sapper had to come up with another save. And we have just not been at the races since half time at all. It's a well worked corner here. Jordana again. Rossi chop blocked, cleared away. And we are hanging on here. Bonifacio takes the throw to Balboa, gets it back. We've made our final change. Gonzalo Lamardo has come on for Leonardo Fernandez as Balboa with a shot and a brilliant save from Daniel Sapa tips it wide for the corner. They deserve to get something out of this game. They really do. We have been awful in this second half and the header there is saved by Daniel Sapa. We have not turned up. We did not come back out of the dressing room. This has been absolutely horrendous performance. And I, do, do you put it down to that? I hate that. I'm very pleased with the way things are going, team talk. It never works. Here is Lamardo, and he's played in Pellegrini, and a good save by Acosta, and that would have been a very, very undeserved third goal. You can't argue that we don't deserve to go 3-1 up. We don't really deserve to get out of this match with a win at the moment. Um, as Rossi steps up with the free kick here, can't whip it round enough. It's into the side netting. Are we going to hold on? Because that's what it's going to be. It is going to be a case for us holding on if we do. Huracan are still 2-0 up. Not really sure what it does in this fledging league table. As Gaston Paiva looks to whip a free kick in. Thomas Fernandez heads it over. Muro takes the free kick shot. Gil Romero. Thomas Fernandez. Lovely ball in. Pellegrini pulls it back. And Gonzalo Lamardo scores his first goal for the club. And in fact, it's a debut goal as well. And... It's a very, 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 very undeserved 3-1 lead. But we will take it because we will get screwed time and again this season. I am sure of it. That's a brilliant finish from Gonzalo Lamardo. I love him already. And it's the assist machine, Matthias Pellegrini, that set it up as well. He got, I think, 17 assists last season. He was absolutely fantastic. 
ousted Lucas Rodriguez from that left wing, made that position his own, which is exactly the sort of thing that I want to see from my youngsters coming through. But Balboa is in, and it should be 3-2, and it isn't, because Daniel Sapper is an absolute legend. He is he's just gone past the 100 games mark in all competitions for the club, and he's been absolutely brilliant for us. He really has. He's only 25, I think, as well. He is going to be my goalkeeper in this save until he decides he wants to leave because he is absolutely brilliant. He is he is one of the points here today. He really has. I mean, they've had 11 shots on target. He's made 10 saves today. He is one of the, the points as much as the players that have scored the goals. As Moura steps in with a brilliant tackle for, for one so inexperienced. And that is it. We've won it 3-1. We definitely didn't deserve to win it 3-1. Belgrano on that second half showing deserved at least a point out of that. Is there something? Oh, I don't like any of those. I really don't. I am going to hand this over to the assistant because I wanted that Jekyll and Hyde thing. And I think if we hadn't scored that last minute goal, we would have had that Jekyll and Hyde team talk in there. Good in the first half, second half unacceptable. Because that is how I feel. But we have definitely got out of jail there. So you join us back where we started then. Um, the offer for Mario Gatti. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the steps that I went through before. And what I did was I, I initially negotiated up to 50 million up front. Which brought them up to twenty nine and a half million. It brought up their instalments to fourteen and a quarter, and it brought the percentage of their next sale to um, to fifty percent. I then went in to uh, forty million, which should now bring it to thirty two and a half up front, non negotiable. That is the offer. That is it as it stood. That is the offer that we had in place for him, and. If we had the EastEnders drums right now, it would be a good time to click them, wouldn't it? We are going to accept the offer. I'm sorry. I am sorry, but I've got to reconcile it in my head. We're never, ever, ever going to earn that sort of money in prize money. No matter how many Copa Libertadores we end up winning, no matter how many Super Leaguers, Copa de la Super Leaguers, Copa Argentinas, Copa Sudamericanas, it doesn't matter what we do, we're never going to get that sort of money in prize money. Um, and it's such a good offer. We're, we're going to struggle to get anything like that as well. So we've just it's just got to happen it really has. We've got a lot of good young players coming through. We only have to put up with it um, till December. And if it's not working out, we'll have money to spend and we can bring in a proper striker if we do need to. Please forgive me for I have sinned. I have sold our Messiah. Oh, I hope he rejects their contract. <laughs> I really do. Um, the plan for the next video, I'm thinking a double header. Um, because after something like that, I need to owe you, don't I? Um, I'm wondering about doing River and Boca in the next video. They're both away from home, which means two defeats. But I am thinking about doing them both away from home. Um, I think that's going to be the next video. Please forgive me. Don't give me too much hate in the comments. If, if you're not happy with that, just leave a dislike. You don't need to give me hate in the comments. <laughs> oh, God, have I done the right thing? He's, he's had two really, really bad games to start the season with. And he... He had a couple of really, really bad games to end last season with as well. He hasn't actually scored for us in about five games, I think. So he's useless. He's rubbish. It's time to get rid. Oh, God, what have I done? Um, join me for the next episode. Please, please come back. Please. Thank you for watching, guys. Please forgive me. Adios.